What's up? I'm Logan Mills and this is video number six in our how to catch bass fishing video series and we're going to be talking about accessories you should not leave the house without to help you from getting stranded or injured. Let's, let's get into it. I know a lot of this is probably going to be common sense but you kind of be surprised at what boaters don't do. This first item I have here is a fire extinguisher. It's probably one of the most important tools you'll need on a boat. I hope you don't ever have to use it, but if your boat catches fire, it might save you from, you know, your boat sinking and burning up and whatnot. But it's very simple. You have this little handle here. You just put your fingers there to hold it easy. And it has the safety pin. Once you pull that out, it's ready to be used. And all you have to do is press this white button right here and it will spray and it has this little so it doesn't have a gauge like a red you know like if a bigger one you'll see this one doesn't have like a, a gauge right here it has this little green uh, button I don't know what you call it but it's this little stick if you push it down and it comes up like that that means it's still good it's not a uh, bad if it goes down it does not come up then you're gonna need a new one. It's bad, it won't work. Well, yeah, it won't. it's not you know safe to use. You should get a new one. But this one, it has these numbers here, B, C. Yeah, so it's for liquids and it is for electrical equipment. So you need to make sure there's a, I think there's an A, B, C too. You need to make sure you get the right one. So, you know, you don't wanna get, you don't wanna put water on oil, on oil fire. It, it doesn't it doesn't turn out good but also if you get a different one than this you know the instructions might be different and they're right here labeled big red bold so you can see it and it's easy to use but simple but a lot of people you know don't think about it next I'm gonna do oh most of this stuff is this isn't everything you'll find in a boat this is some of the most important and common sense items you'll you know you'll find this next one is a jumper cable. Pretty, you know, it's not anything special, but it's very helpful. We've needed them because I don't know if we had a bad battery or what, but we've killed the main battery sometimes, and sometimes you need to jump it off because we don't want to be stuck out there trolling hours back to the ramp. That's that's not fun. How you use this is red is plus. This goes with your positive, and the black is negative. This goes with your minus, and it's simple and this is motorcycle ones because we don't need ones for cars that are super long and super big because we're, we're not going like I don't know like five feet so you don't need anything super long and super big so something like these are small simple and very helpful and they usually well these came with a bag which you know they're very it's very helpful to have the bag because it keeps them dry which is very important and because you don't want them to get rusted and you know you don't want them to get messed up and cause any harm you know i'll put them in the bag right quick no we'll do that later let's just set them down there and then we're gonna go to the one of my you know in opinion in my opinion the most one of the most important accessories you need because if it wasn't on the scale it didn't count just saying you say you caught a 10 pounder if you didn't weigh it, it won 10 pounds. So, you know, scale, electronic ones are better. They do have, uh, you wouldn't call them manual, but they're not electronic and they, they do work, but they're not, nah, they're not, I don't recommend them. Something like this, simple electronic scale, very easy to use. It doesn't hurt the fish. Um, the only problem, we need to get a clip because this can come out, you don't stab the fish. It, I mean, you don't hurt the fish in any way. You just pull this up, hit the on button, weigh them, and there you go. That simple. Another important thing is a whistle. Now, some boats, or I guess probably all boats have horns, but let's say your horn isn't working. Don't know why, maybe you need a whistle. It's uh, simple, I'm not gonna blow it because it's super loud all you do I mean simple blowing it and you know people can hear it if you need help this will help you you know hope you're never in that situation we have never been thankfully and next is pliers now 
I recommend needle nose or some type of long pliers like this because if you just get regular pliers, the little short stubby ones, you're not going to be able to get down there and get the hook. That's why this is, these are very handy because they're very long and if the fish is, you know, you accidentally gut hook them, it happens. It's not, you know, you don't mean to do it, but it does happen. These are very helpful and I will do a video in the future on how to remove a hook from a fish's mouth because there's a certain way you can do it without tearing them up but you know it happens accidents happen and then next we have a ruler or let's see I guess you would call it a tournament board it's just how you measure fish because most fish you're gonna be between bass fishing tournaments are gonna be between uh, 12 and 14 inches so there's no need this only goes to 18 because there's no need for it to be super long if you need you know if you're a striper fisherman cat fisherman and you want to weigh long fish you can get a tape measure but this is used for tournament fishing for bass you know so you know the length you can also use it for other fish but it's um it's, it's made for bass and the next something simple which i just brought up here because i didn't you know I had it in my pocket, a flashlight, you know, you never know when you're going to need it. If it's dark, you know, you're night fishing, you got to tie something, you're going to need a light. If it's, you know, in the morning, you're trying to get your stuff ready, you can't see, flashlight, that's simple, it works, and not much to it. And then, it's like a seatbelt for your car, life jacket. You wouldn't go 70 miles an hour down the interstate without your seatbelt, would you? Well, I don't like going on the water 70 miles an hour without my life jacket, which is the equivalent to a seatbelt. It's simple. They have many different kinds. This is probably my favorite one because you can fish in it still. It's not big. It's small. It works really well. And the and it's nice because you don't have to worry about, like if you get knocked unconscious, you know, hopefully it doesn't happen. This one, as soon as it really gets soaked, it inflates automatically comes out and I kind of trust this more you know and if it doesn't work it has a a, uh, a manual pull switch that you pull it and it inflates but we're not going to test it because it's very expensive to refill but oh another thing is you need to check I don't know if it says yes it says you probably won't be able to see it but it has this uh, writing here and it tells you the weight limit so like the weight that you need to be in between and how big you are like if you have like this one this one is for more than 80 pounds so you don't want a kid like you know if you're three 300 pounds you don't want a little kid's life jacket it's not gonna keep you afloat but you know just read them make sure these are really nice and then we have Make sure you don't hit anything. A paddle. A uh, bright orange paddle. You can use wooden ones. It doesn't matter what paddle it is. As long as it gets the job done. If your motor dies, you don't have a trolling motor, you're stranded, and you need to get back to the, you know, the dock, the ramp, wherever, just use this puppy, and you can paddle your way back. And it even extends if you got long arms. But this is another thing. And these are really easy to store. Another thing I forgot to grab was a net. Nets are very helpful too if you have big fish you need to land and you don't want to, you know, horse them in the boat. You don't want to bend the hook, break your line. So you just scoop under there with a net and pick them up. But, oh, fishing rods are another thing, but that's not, I don't expect you to go fishing without fishing rods. It's kind of, it's not the smartest idea. But then we're going to look at the last item is you don't have to, have cameras but these are what we have been using you know to film our fishing adventures and then the camera you're watching it on now is a very nice camera but they're very helpful like you know if you don't you know if you got one of those friends that are like you tell them you caught a 10 pounder and they're like and you weighed it and they say oh that didn't happen oh not bring this bring one of these and record it and then they can't say anything. And two, they're very nice, especially the chest mounts. All you do is put it on like this. It's easy, you know. We also have this mount, 
you know, if you had to, you could do it on your hat or boat, window, windshield, wherever you want to put it. That's like a little alligator. But uh, these are what we've been using to film our videos. And they're nice to use. And they're easy. They're small. And uh, I hope this video helped. You know, stay tuned. We're going to continue this video series in the next one. I think we're going to a pond and then a lake and a river. But stay tuned and we'll see you there. Fist bump.